It was 7th against 8th in the Men's Hockey League as Surbiton took on Reading. Surbiton, the back of a 3 all draw with Wimbledon last week, up against a Reading side that had won their last two matches by four goals to one. Penalty corner for Surbiton. Ansel waits at the top of the circle. Here is Ansel, and Ansel scores! Liam Ansel opens the scoring on the 11th minute with a well-taken drag flick down to Tommy Alexander's right-hand side. The Reading keeper just beaten by pace and Ansel gives Surbiton the lead. Reading. Well, they've had ball dispossessed on the 23 and here goes Ansel again. Ansel over the halfway line with his head up. Ansel still going up to the Reading 23. Good run by Ansel. He's found uh, uh, Forsyth who unleashes a backhand shot that Alexander saves but what a run from Ansel going from 23 to 23 lovely pass for Scythe onto the reverse stick high to the keeper's left but Alexander equal to it free hit outside in the circle Farrington takes it and drops it out to Hildreth Hildreth fires it in and Alexander makes a save and it fills to Goodfield who pops it into the goal and Surbiton have a two goal lead now I'm not sure that Alexander needs to play this ball that's fired into the circle but he does does it get a touch maybe it does but the rebound falls straight to Goodfield who's unmarked and he makes it 2-0 penalty corner to the top of the circle it goes it's a slip to Forsyth who strikes and it's been disallowed now is that too high it did get a deflection off Alexander's stick but I think the ball is above the backboard before it hits the stick good call from the umpire Reading the free hit. It's hard into the circle. It's taken the deflection now. Dodvar gets it across and it's been turned in by Ben Boone. Boone gets Reading to within a goal with what six minutes of the first half remaining. Serbton two, Reading one. As the ball's fired in here, it takes a wicked deflection. It falls kindly to Reading. The ball across is then turned in by Boone. No chance for Gibson. Penalty corner for Reading. It goes to Richard Mantel. Mantel! Just wide of the mark. He certainly got hold of that one, but he couldn't find the target. There's a chance for Reading when it's been intercepted. And here is Hildreth back inside to Ansel. Ansel with his head up. Plays it down that right-hand side. This is Hildreth. Hildreth across the goal. And Alexander makes the save. Good break from Surbiton. Again, Ansel with a long run. This time he picks out Hildreth, who finds the target, but Alexander makes the save. The ball forward to Boone, and the tackle comes in. It's a sideline ball, which Boone will take. Boone still going, changing passes. Boone down into the 23, driving to the goal line. Boone puts the ball across. Goal on the keeper. Oh, my word! What a disaster for Servitut. Gaul and Gibson left it to each other and Andy Watts pounces to put Reading back on level terms. Boone got to the goal line. It was a, a nothing ball across. There was no pace on it, but a disaster in the defence and it's all square. Penalty corner for Surbiton. Can they go back in front? Here comes the flick and it's a good save down to his right-hand side by Alexander. Let's have a look. Just gets enough on it. There is uh, Beckett, and Beckett's been robbed, and here's an opportunity now for Carson. And it's just over from James Carson, as Beckett is robbed by the Reading squeeze. Always rising from Carson. Penalty corner for Surbiton. They try and get back in front. They do a move at the top of the circle, and Alexander makes the save and pops it on to his defender's foot. I think it's hit Mantel on the foot. Now to this right-hand side. Ball fired across. It's up off the stick. And it's going to be a long corner. And looking for the ball. There's a couple of balls on the pitch. And it's all over. The final whistle. And Reading have come from two goals down to secure a draw. Surbiton 2, Reading 2, the final score.